What's up everyone and welcome to the club. Today we're drawing Art the Clown from the Terrifier. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page and draw the bottom edge of the brow. Now we're gonna leave a gap in the center. Let's start over on the left side. We're gonna draw a curve that goes up and it'll bend that out towards the side. Let's line up the inside over on the right and going up and then out in the opposite direction. Now on the inside, we're just gonna curl up the brow, coming in and then up. Now I want to tuck two circles underneath the brow. So on the left side, we're going to step in, draw that circle, coming all the way around, and just pull that up towards that inside point of the brow, come down towards the same height on the right, and then back up. Let's draw that dark ring around the eyes. Starting from the end, come all the way around, and just pull that up on the inside. Let's fill the outside of the eyes in black. Now I want to pull the iris and pupil towards the inside. So we're going to start from the top, we're going to draw a smaller circle, going all the way around. Just pull that up on the inside. Do the same thing on the right. And then in the center, we're just going to add a small black dot for the pupils. Let's add that point across the top of the eye. We're going to go up and then back down. And we'll fill those in black. Let's add a small point across the bottom down and up, and then again, we'll just fill those in black. Now this character has a really long nose, so we're going to start over on the left side, we're going to bend this in, and then down, round up the tip of the nose, go up and across towards the right. Now in between the eyes, we're going to add a fold to the bridge of the nose, and then along the tip, we're just going to add a small black dot. Let's add a fold on the side of the nose. We're going to step in, bend this out, and then down. And we'll draw the top edge of the mouth in behind the nose, starting on the left, coming down and in, continue up on the right. Let's open up the mouth, starting back on the left, coming down, go across, and then up. Now I want to give our character some jagged teeth. Starting from the left side, we're going to go up down in an angle. I'm just going to repeat this all the way across towards the right side. Let's add that dark trim around the mouth. So from the left side we're going to step up, curve this down and in towards the nose, and then up. Now we come down towards the bottom, just follow the curve of the mouth, going all the way across, and then up. And then fill that trim in black. Now from here, we move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. From the left eye, we're going to step out, curve this down, go across just underneath the mouth, and we'll bend that up on the right side. Let's go back to the left side. I'm going to draw the top of the head. We're going to bump this out, curve this around and in. It's going to make our way over towards the right side, towards the edge of the hat, right about there. Let's bend this down, and then out towards the right side of the head. I'm just going to close this off with a curve coming in towards the right cheek. Let's add that seam across the head, starting on the left, and this up, and then bend that back down. And then on the ends, we're just going to curve this out and then down towards the side of the head. Let's add a line coming down the center. Now we're going to add in the eyebrows. Let's start on the left side, going up. And bend that down on the inside, line this up on the right. We're gonna go up and then back down. Now we're gonna place the hat on top of this indent. So from these two points, and it's up and then out. And then we'll just round up the bottom. And then from these two points, go up and then out with a straight angled line. Close this off with a curve. Now I'm going to go back and sink in the cheekbones. Let's start on the left, come in, and then bend that down on either side. 
Now with the head complete, let's move down and draw on that collar. We're gonna start on the side, bend this out and in. I'm just gonna continue to add this wave going across towards the right, and then tuck that in behind the head. Now I wanna add a trim across the bottom. Starting back on the left, we're just gonna follow that curve going all the way across towards the right. Underneath the collar, we're gonna curve the body, going out and then down towards the hips. Let's move to the center, step down and add another curve in between the legs. Leave a gap in the center, go to the left side, bend the leg going out and then down towards the left heel. Move over towards the right, go out and down towards the right heel. Now let's round out the bottom of the feet, starting on the left, then the foot coming down and up. Let's go back to the left side and curve the foot. We're gonna go up, bend this down in towards the heel. I'm just gonna curve that back up towards the inside of the leg. Let's go back up to the hip. We're gonna curve the leg, going out and then down on top of the feet. Let's add a thick sole across the bottom of the feet. We're gonna take this curve, step up, and just trace that across on both sides. Now we wanna add two large buttons in the center of the body. Let's start from the top with a circle. Step down and draw that again. And we'll split the body in half with a straight line coming from the collar in behind those buttons then all the way down towards the bottom. Now let's go back up to the top and draw on the arms. We're gonna start with the arm on the left holding the dagger, starting underneath the collar, then the arm coming down and out towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we wanna curl around the thumb, going up and then down, round up the thumb and pull that back up. Let's wrap three fingers along the outside. Start from the side of the thumb, start with a half oval. Going out and then in, come down towards the bottom, draw another oval and tuck that up under the thumb. And we'll draw that one more time. Let's draw the bottom of the handle underneath that bottom finger with two straight lines coming down, round out the bottom of the handle. Now I'm gonna fold that right line up towards the top of the thumb, extend this all the way up towards the tip of the dagger. Round up the side of the blade, going around, and then down. Come straight in. Now I'm going to follow this line above the fingers up underneath the blade. Let's go back to the wrist. We're going to curl the palm, coming down and then out in behind the handle. And then from the bottom of the hand, bend the arm, coming in and then up towards the side of the body. Now I'm going to line up the inside of the arm over on the right side, bend the arm, going out and then down toward the side. From the wrist, draw a small half circle for the thumb. Close off the end with a curve going all the way back up towards the wrist. Let's add three fingers across the bottom. Starting from the bottom of the thumb, coming down and then up. Step down, go out and up with the second finger. And then the third finger, we're just gonna bend this back up underneath the collar. Let's close off the wrist, starting from the thumb, bend this out and up. And then we'll separate the tips of each finger with a curve. Now I also want to close off the thumb on the left side. Just continue that curve going up. And then we're going to add some blood across the end of the blade. And then we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Art the Clown from the Terrifier. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Thank you.